So at the time of recording this, it's currently grey and miserable looking outside, but it's not freezing cold. So that can mean only one thing here in the UK. It's summer. In today's video, I thought I'd show you some of the outfits that I'm going to be wearing this summer. And they're all simple and easy to wear, and I think they look good. So hopefully they give you some ideas. For reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 30 inch waist, and I'll link everything from this video down in the description box. If you like this video at any point, it would be absolutely lovely if you could give it a like. And now that's all out the way, I'll get into the outfits. So we have a very special guest this video, this young man sleeping on the floor. He loves to be nearby, especially when I'm filming outfits, so he'll be chilling with us today. Anyway, let's talk about the outfit. So this outfit is very casual and comfortable, and I've been wearing it mostly to pop to the shops or for when I'm running errands. As the shorts are sweatshorts, they're extremely comfortable, and I like to be comfortable whenever I can. If it's a really hot summer's day, then I'll swap out the long sleeve for a vest instead, but I like the way this outfit looks with a long sleeve. In my opinion, stripes are great for the summer, and I love how the off-white colour of the top works with the off-white colour of the shoes, and the drawstrings. It is a little bit matchy-matchy, but in a good way, I think. Now, I do kind of wish the socks were cream rather than bright white, but I don't currently own any cream socks, so these will have to do, but I'll add them to my shopping list. I know there's a massive divide on whether or not you should wear socks with your shorts, and let me know which side you stand on. I also wear this outfit a lot with a black long sleeve. I think it works just as well, so if you don't like stripes or they don't work for you, then just wear whatever colour top you want. This top also has the nice smiley faces on the elbows for a pop of colour, and it adds a nice bit of detail to the outfit. On the head, I'm wearing a cap as it goes with the laid back feel of the outfit, and the tote not only adds a bit of detail to the look, but it's also going to come in handy for when I buy my new cream socks in town. And for those of you who hate wearing shorts, then try out this outfit instead. I think crop sleeveless tees can look more interesting than a regular t-shirt, and they keep you nice and cool too so I've been wearing them a lot recently. Now, I don't often wear trousers in the summer, but this pair have a relaxed fit, and they're really lightweight. Now, I think this exact pair are sold out, unfortunately, but I'll link something similar in the description box. Anyway, on feet, I've got my mules that I've been wearing a lot recently. I find they work with anything I wear, so I find myself reaching for them a lot. But I wouldn't advise you wear them if you need to do a lot of walking. If you are going to be doing a lot of walking, then swap them out for your favourite summer sneakers instead, because this outfit will work with anything. And for a pop of colour, and to give my hands something to do when I'm filming, I've thrown in a tote bag. I'm always really awkward when I pose for camera, so having something to hold makes me look a little bit less awkward. On the sunglasses I'm wearing, I wear with a lot of these outfits, and they just add a nice pop of colour too. So next up, we've got an all-black outfit for those cooler summer days when you still want to wear shorts. Up top, I'm wearing a cotton knit, and because it has a slightly looser weave and it's made from cotton, it's not overly hot. I don't wear anything underneath it either to keep things more breezy, and as I said, this outfit is more for those cooler summer days. And for the bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of jorts that sit just above the knee, and I love the fit on these. I think jorts are perfect for those cooler summer days when you still want to have your legs out, because they're a little bit thicker. And I do think this pair give off quite a dressy look. A lot of people knock jorts for being too casual or for looking like you're trying to dress too young, but I have to disagree. There's so many different styles of jorts out there, and I think these give off a great look. On the feet, I've got the mules again, and I've gone for black socks this time to keep in theme with the all-black fit. But I really like this outfit. It's simple and casual, but kind of classy at the same time. But let's move on. So next up, we've got a really simple outfit, but the cut of the pieces make the outfit look a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. I've gone for the same pair of relaxed trousers from earlier, and a crop boxy t-shirt. Now, I did actually cut off the sleeves of this t-shirt because they were too long for my liking, but I love the way they look now. On feet, I'm wearing a pair of slip-on suede loafers, and I think they dress up the outfit quite nicely. But you could wear any style of loafer here, or trainers, or mules. I just wanted to show you something a little bit different to give you some more options. And for accessories, I've let my chains hang out to add a little bit more interest to the look, and again, I've got on my trusty old shades. And if the weather cools down or for the evening, you could swap out the t-shirt for another loose knit top. So next up, we're back in the shorts for a casual and sporty look. These are probably my shortest pair of shorts at the moment, but it's nice to have some different silhouettes to play with. 
Up top, I'm wearing a sweatshirt that I actually ended up cropping myself. I got it about 10 years ago and it was too long for me, so I ended up giving it the chop. I love the casual look it gives off and underneath, I'm just wearing a white vest for a pop of detail. And also if I get too hot, I can take off the sweatshirt and then I can just wear the vest. I went for black socks here, but you could wear white socks if you want or green socks or cream socks, whatever you want really. This is just what I wanted to do. On feet, I've got a pair of Common Project sneakers, but you could wear pretty much any sneaker here. It's entirely up to you. And if these shorts are too short, for you, then you could easily wear them with a longer pair, just like I'm doing here with the sweatshorts that I was wearing earlier. You can quite honestly mix up any top part of any outfit from this video with any bottom part and it'll work. That's why I like to go for simple, versatile pieces because they work with anything. So let me know which outfit was your favorite and which one you could see yourself wearing the most. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you did, please do leave the video a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'll see you later.